US B-21 vs Chinese H-20 Stealth Bombers China's H-20 Stealth Bomber is expected to introduce an entirely new sphere of threat dynamics to the US, as it further cements China's nuclear triad and massively extends its nuclear attack range to include major portions of the continental US. While there is much still to be known about the H-20, there are many reasons why US weapons developers are likely to take it very seriously. For instance, if the H-20 can extend its range beyond the first island chain off the coast of China, then it could not only hold the Philippines, Japan and areas of the South China Sea at risk, but also threaten Guam, a U.S. territory. Certainly if extended with a refueler, the H-20 might be in position to threaten Hawaii or even parts of the continental U.S. The Pentagon's China Military Power Report Report said China's new H-20 long-range stealth bomber would potentially introduce paradigm-changing threats as it is expected to operate with an 8,500 km range. This would hold key, previously unreachable areas of the U.S. at risk in new ways. A reported range of 8,500 km appears slightly less than a B-2 bomber's range of more than 6,700 miles, However Pentagon reports have raised concerns that the Chinese may also be developing a refuelable bomber that could reach initial operating capability before the long-range bomber. The B-2 is known for its long-endurance flights as well, during in the opening days of the Afghan war, US B-2 flew 44-hour missions from Whiteman AFB Mississippi, to Diego Garcia, a small island off of the Indian coastline. From there, B-2s flew bombing missions over Afghanistan in support of US ground forces. While this mission likely required refueling, it does speak to the merits and tactical advantages of long-endurance bombing. Chinese H-20 compete with U.S. Air Force B-21 bombers. H-20 bomber, its external configuration and horizontal blended wing body resembles a U.S. B-2 or B-21. However, a few things do come to mind. The B-21 airframe for instance, appears to have little or almost no external exhaust pipes, raising the question as to whether it incorporates new thermal management or heat dispersion technologies. A key goal, when it comes to designing stealth bomber airframes, is to work toward having it mirror or align with the surrounding temperature of the atmosphere, so as to be less detectable to thermal sensors. Also, while much of the B-21's details remain black for understandable reasons, senior Air Force leaders, have said the platform contains a new generation of stealth technologies and can hold any target at risk in the world at any time. This indicates that there may be a high measure of confidence that the new B-21 will be able to succeed against the most advanced current and anticipated future air defense systems. Air Force officials say the B-21 will be virtually undetectable, something which may very well be true. Finally, it may not even be clear that China's new H-20 bomber could even fully rival the U.S. B-2. While the B-2 may be thought of as a somewhat antiquated 1980s-built platform, years of Air Force upgrades have vastly changed the performance parameters of the airplane. The B-2 is now being engineered with a so-called defensive management system sensor designed to find locations of enemy air defenses, and thus fly around them. Finally, much like what is reported about the both the B-21 and H-20 are engineered to carry and fire long-range nuclear and conventional cruise missiles, such as the Air Force's emerging long-range standoff weapon. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.